Okay, so we're back here with Why I Want, and before I get underway, I know Canucks fans are gonna come in here and say the entire, oh, the Canucks should draft this guy, because obviously they're run by Francesco Aquilini, meaning that any other Francesco with an Italian-sounding last name should be taken by Vancouver. I get it, okay, it's a funny joke, not really, but it is what it is. Either way, today we're talking about another prospect who has made his way over onto the NHL draft rankings, and unlike a lot of our previous names, he has had a pretty unfortunate year. Mostly because the league he primarily plays for was shut down. Today we're going to be talking about 18-year-old, 6-foot, 185-pound center left-handed player Francesco Pinelli. Thank you to those in the previous Why I Want who commented Bronze Tiger. If you want a chance to be featured in the next video, then stick around to the end of this one. But Francesco Pinelli is one of the more interesting names in this NHL entry draft. Primarily because, you can see it from the title right here, he is pretty much a jack-of-all-trades kind of guy that I think most people would be projecting towards being available towards the middle part of this first round. As we noted, he's got a pretty good frame as a left-handed center, and he made his name known last year, when he was a rookie with the Kitchener Rangers in the OHL. In 2019-20, he posted up 41 points in 59 games played, with 18 of those being goals. This was significant, because if you take a look at the other 2021 prospects who played in 2019-20 in the OHL, Francesco Pinelli was third out of all the guys in the year. He had slightly worse production than Mason McTavish, slightly better production than Brent Clark, Brennan Othman, as well as a few other guys you may recognize over here. Pinelli in this season made himself known as a pretty good shooter, who had a really good two-way motor and some pretty good defensive responsibility. However, because the OHL didn't start up this season, he had himself a decision to make. What would be the case here for 2021 with Francesco Pinelli? Well, some of the other OHL guys who were eligible for the draft ended up going overseas, some to the Czech Republic, others to Switzerland. You had guys all over the place that were underage junior Canadian kids from the OHL who had made new homes in Europe. And Francesco Pinelli was one of those guys as well. He made himself over to the HDD Jasinis in the Alps Hockey League, which is a hockey team in Slovenia, where in 13 games played, he posted up 11 points. Now, that's pretty significant because he was one of the only players who was under the age of 18 actually playing in this league, and as you can see, he had himself quite a few points compared to the rest. Sure, some of the other guys may have had more points, but Pinelli was still up there in terms of points per game amongst all the other players in this hockey league who were under the age of 18. It should be noted, though, this is indeed a pro men's hockey league that he was playing in. Therefore, he was playing with other guys that were bigger, stronger, more mature, and developed than he was, and he still found a way to produce offense. It was pretty interesting, though, whenever you would watch the tape of Francesco Pinelli in this hockey league, because with Francesco Pinelli, he's honestly got a pretty interesting and well-defined enough skill set that if you watch this guy play for, like, two minutes, you pretty much know what his entire game is about. He plays his best when he has the puck and he has space, or when the opponent has the puck. Now, firstly, when he has the puck and he has space, he's got some pretty good wheels where he's able to really generate speed and find himself some momentum heading into the offensive zone. Give him space, hey, he's got room to take a wrist shot, and he's got a really good developed wrist shot that he can fire pretty consistently from areas around the face-off circle or a little bit beyond the slot. He's beaten goalies a lot with this wrist shot, and sometimes he'll even throw in a cool little move like a toe drag or a fake pass attempt to make things a little bit more interesting. He's got a pretty good ability to just wind it and fire it, although it's not the most consistent when he is pressured. When Pinelli is pressured, he often tries to stick handle his way out of danger, and it's not really the most consistent thing in the world. He'll often lose handles on it, or once in a while just fall down straight up while controlling the play, meaning that I think there is some work to be done with his overall puck skills in tight and under pressure when he has possession. However, when he doesn't have the puck, and it's the opponents who are holding onto it instead, Pinelli does a really good job at giving the opponents a really difficult time. He's got a motor that's always going, he's not afraid to get up in their faces, play a little bit physical along the boards, make a few cross-checks here and there, and, when he's not able to do that, use his stick and position it in the proper way to really disturb the heck out of his opponents. As you watch this guy more and more, you'll see instances where the opponents have the puck around the net, and Pinelli is getting his stick involved, blocking off a passing lane or a potential shooting attempt. He's got a really active stick when he's not able to body-check guys, and, just in general, 
He's got a really active mind that works so well when the opponent is making plays that he's just a really solid defensive presence to have out there, especially with the defensive responsibilities of a center. He just knows what it takes to turn play around, and he does whatever he can to go ahead and try that out. As a result, you'll see a lot of turnovers off of this guy's stick, forcing play the other way and giving his own team opportunities. When he doesn't have the puck in the offensive zone, though, and his team is cycling it around, Pinelli really likes to rove around the ice. Rarely will you see him stop up in one spot looking for a pass. He's always trying to go around, look for new opportunities, and try to feed off of the play being presented to him. Now, sometimes that might be to his own fault, because he might be in an area, eventually leave that area, and if there's a turnover, all of a sudden, boom, there's open space for the opponent. But, for the most part, Pinelli has a really good mind for reading the game off the puck. So he's always trying things offensively, trying to find new lanes, and defensively, he is really engaged and just really hard on whoever has the puck. I just really like the safe kind of nature that you have with a Francesco Pinelli because every time you watch this guy play and your team doesn't have the puck, you know exactly what it is he's going to do and he doesn't really let you down in that regard. Now all these skills are pretty good and great, but how exactly does that stack up with the rest of his age group? As we noted, he played in the Alps League, so it wasn't really the most comparable to other kids his age. Well, he did suit up for Team Canada at the U18s, and he had 11 points in 7 games played. Interesting to note, he was tied for third on the team with Mason McTavish. So there's that Mason McTavish connection coming back over here, because if you're taking a look at production, hey, McTavish and Pinelli had similar numbers last year in the OHL, they had similar numbers this year at the U18s, there is an obvious statistical comparable when it comes to point production over here, and even though it may not be seen in the same way across the board, I'm not going to say that Pinelli is McTavish 2.0 or anything, they play completely different styles, Pinelli is at the very least a guy who is capable of producing. You don't get over a point per game at the U18s by being a scrub. So when you take a look at the complete package, what you have is a really defensively responsible two-way center who doesn't really have the best stick handles, but who has some pretty good speed, a blistering shot, and some really good off-puck instincts. This is a guy who is ranked 21st on the consolidated ranking on Elite Prospects. Elite Prospects themselves has him at 16. Future Considerations also at 16. The other ratings over here vary from 25. 24, 24, 25. The lowest here is 31st by Draft Prospects Hockey, with a few others like Sportsnet having him at 28. So overall, Pinelli is kind of like the jack of all trades here. I won't say he's elite in any one particular aspect, but when it comes to skating, he's got that. When it comes to his shot, he's got that. When it comes to playmaking, he's honestly a pretty good playmaker too. He knows how to make plays and find nice little passing seams, so he's got that. Defensively, He's got it. Work ethic-wise, he's got it too. He really isn't above and beyond in any category, in my opinion. I still think there are other guys in this draft who have better, more consistent shots. Other guys who are better danglers than he is, and guys who have better two-way aggression than he does. But, at the end of the day, Pinelli is kind of that guy who, if you're in the middle of the first round, and you say, we just want a center who can probably play middle six minutes down the line sometime in the future, and just do everything right. Let the play flow through him. We can rely on him to not really make too many mistakes, and he just makes the other line mates we have around them easier. I think Pinelli could be your guy. Now, would I take him as high as 11 or 12 or 15, like some of these outlets are suggesting? I'm not really too sure, Recruit Scouting has him at 12, so that's a little bit too high for my liking, but if a team's going out there, say, 19th overall, 20th overall, 21st, and Pinelli's available, I think he could be a really strong center candidate down the line to be a part of an NHL franchise that's looking to bolster their depth down the middle. So that's Francesco Pinelli over here, one of the most interesting prospects in my mind because of how two-way balanced he is. Talk to me in the comments what you think about this junior player who played in Slovenia, and what you think he could become at the NHL level. Would you want your team to draft Pinelli? Would you skip on him? Where do you think he should be drafted? Talk to me in the comments what you think. Also, if you made it to the end, comment in the comment section below. Miruko, because we're still sticking with superheroes. She is one of my favorites from My Hero Academia, Bunny Hero. Miruko, it's actually spelled. And the reason we're doing her is because there's actually a teammate on HDD Jasenis whose name is Miruko over here. So that's the little connection I'm making. Talk to me in the comments what you think. Have you enjoyed this video? So that's Rolls 99. And bye.